This video is going to be very different than any other one I've posted. It won't be as focused and it'll kind of just be me having a conversation. Except I'm sort of talking to myself here. So after every family tree video, the comment section is usually filled with some suggestions of which one some of you would like to see next. The most prominent ones that haven't already been done being Aaron and Tully. My house Blackfire family tree is probably going to be my last one I ever make and not because I'm too lazy to put the effort these type of videos take but because there just isn't enough information to make an entire video on any other house. But since there is a pretty high demand, I guess I'll supply the goods and let you guys see for yourself why there isn't a dedicated video. Let me start with house Aaron because they're cooler than the Tullys. The Aarons hail from an old and pure line of Andal nobility. Under artist Aaron, the Andals defeated the first man in the Vale. He became the first king of the mountain and Vale and founder of house Aaron. But with the information we've got, the family tree begins with Jasper Aaron. And his name is the only thing we know about him. He was the father of John, Alice, and Ronald. It was John Aaron's death that initiated the events of Game of Thrones. I am so sorry, my love. Tell me. John Aaron is dead. A fever took him. The Raven brought more news. The king rides for Winterfell. With the queen and all the rest of them. He became Lord of the Eyrie and Warden of the West after his father died. He was always a kind and wise man. John's first wife was Jane Royce, but she died during childbirth and their daughter was stillborn. His second marriage was to his cousin Rowena Aaron, who died of a winter chill, which just sounds like a cold. Their marriage was a childless one. For the most part of his life, he had no natural children of his own, but he did foster Robert Baratheon and Ned Stark while they were his wards. The two became his closest brothers and looked to John as his second father. Tell me about John Aaron. One minute he was fine and then burned right through him, whatever it was. I loved that man. We both did. He never had to teach you much, but me, you remember me at 16? <laughs> All I wanted to do was crack skulls and fuck girls. He showed me what was what. Aye. Don't look at me like that. Ned even names Jon Snow after him. When the Mad King ordered the heads of Robert and Ned, Jon refused and rebelled against the Targaryens instead. In order to gain the Tully's support, Jon married Lysa Tully and Ned married Catelyn. Robert appointed him Hand of the King after he usurped the throne. He served for 15 years before being poisoned by his wife, as instructed by Littlefinger. What wife would do for you the things I've done for you? What wife would trust you the way I've trusted you? When you gave me those drops and told me to pour them into John's wine, my husband's wine. When you told me to write a letter to Kat, telling her it was a Lannister. Before his death, his loveless marriage finally brought him an heir after five miscarriages with Lysa. Their weak and sickly son was named Robert, nicknamed Sweet Robin. In the show, they just call him Robin. This is the end of the main line, but there is a little more to talk about with John's siblings. His sister Alice's story is a ridiculously tragic one. She married Ellis Wainwood and had nine children with him. Her only son died at three years old after being kicked in the head by a horse. Two of her daughters died as children from the pox, while one other one survived but was scarred by it and became a septa. One daughter joined the Silent Sisters after her bastard died in infancy. Another daughter was taken by some mountain clansmen when traveling and one died after childbirth. The only child whose life isn't so tragic is a daughter who married a lord but is unable to have any children. The next heir to the Eyrie is Alice's grandson Harold Harding. Even though his last name isn't Aaron, he is the closest relative to Sweet Robin who may not live a very long life. John's brother Ronald died from stomach problems and his son who he had with his wife from House Belmore was killed by the Mad King. See this wouldn't make for a very long video on its own. The House Tully family tree is even more pathetic, being only two generations with the information we currently have. The Tullys were never kings like most of the other powerful houses of Westeros. Like the houses in the north, this family originate from the first men. The first lord, Axel Tully, was given land by the Andals after they bent the knee and built River Run a thousand years ago. Hasu Tully was a proud man who loved to travel. As he aged, he became sick and bedridden. He was married to Manissa Went and they had six children together. Catelyn, Lysa, and Edmure were the only ones to survive infancy. Manissa died giving birth to her last son who died shortly after her. House Went was a fairly new house and their seat was the cursed castle Harrenhal. Nothing good has come to any family ruling within these walls. Harrenhal is the largest castle in Westeros, but it's practically in ruin. Shortly after it was built, Aegon the Conqueror atop his dragon had it burned with dragonfire. 
So many families have come and gone in the castle, and House Went is one of them. They were removed by Tywin Lannister in the recent story, and now Littlefinger rules over it. However, he has never set foot in the Cursed Castle. Hoster Tully took Peter Baelish as a ward after he befriended his father during the War of the Nine Penny Kings. Peter grew up with Hoster's children and fell in love with Catelyn when he grew older. Catelyn did not share in these feelings, but her younger sister Lysa did. Peter would eventually impregnate Lysa. When she told her father about her pregnancy, he forced her into an abortion. We all know that Cat married Ned after Bran Stark, the man she was first betrothed to, died and Lysa married Jon Arryn. Their marriages were held on the same day in Riverrun during Robert's Rebellion. Hoster's illness led to his death. As per Tully tradition, a flaming arrow is shot at the corpse while sailing on the trident. Edmure misses his shots, so Hoster's younger brother Brendan takes over. Hoster and Brendan never got along, but reconciled as Hoster was dying. Brendan is a very entertaining character who makes every book chapter a little better. Hoster and Brandon used to fight over betrothals, but Brendan was extremely stubborn and never married. After Hostel called him the Black Goat of the Tully Flock, Brendan gained the nickname the Blackfish. He's a very strong swimmer and good fighter. After 30 years of fighting, I don't think he remembered what started it. He asked me to stop calling myself Blackfish. I said it was an old joke, and it was never funny to begin with. I told him, People had been calling me Blackfish for so long, they don't remember my real name. When Lysa got married to John Arryn, John offered Brendan the position of Knight of the Gate. The Eyrie is the most naturally fortified castle in the Seven Kingdoms, and Brendan is the commander who guards over the gate. He tried to convince his niece Lysa to join her family in the war against the Lannisters, but she wouldn't even spare a single fighter. Brendan left his position and joined his family in the war. Unlike in the show, Brendan was never killed in the books after Edmure gave up his family's home. He went into the waters and escaped by swimming. Where he'll swim to is something we're gonna have to find out in the next book whenever that'll come out. Lysa never left the Irish protection to even see her dying father. Edmure would marry Rosalind Frey during the Red Wedding and Lysa would finally marry the man she loved. This marriage wouldn't last long since Littlefinger pushed her out of the moon door. I have only loved one woman. Only one. My entire life. Lysa wasn't always as protective and psycho. It was her time in King's Landing that changed her. Tell me, Lady Stark, when was the last time you saw your sister? Five years ago. She's changed. She was always a bit touched, but now you might as well kill me here. Besides these families, the next most requested is House Frey. I've said this before, but I'll never make this. I'll lose my mind organizing Walder's 40 children through 8 marriages and all his grandchildren. Another highly requested video is pretty embarrassing to talk about. My Targaryen family tree was the first one I made and it's definitely not my best. A lot of people hate that I started at the bottom with Daenerys and not at the top like I've done ever since. I thought it would be a good idea to start with someone everyone recognized so I wouldn't lose show only watches at the very beginning of the video. Instead the opposite happened. Many commented it was confusing and I agree it wasn't the best decision. Not only that, but Jon has been confirmed to be Rhaegar and Lyanna's true son in Game of Thrones, so I think it's deserving of an update. In this updated version, I think I'll briefly discuss some theorized Targaryens and where would they fit in the family tree, like Tyrion and Varys, even though I don't really believe Tyrion is a Targaryen bastard. I don't know if I'll wait for the Winds of Winter to see how George Martin decides Jon's parentage and if any other Targaryen gets written to the story. I don't really want to make two updated videos considering the Targaryen tree was by far the most time consuming to create. But since this video isn't really on a specific topic, I may as well talk about the Sons of the Dragon. I said in the comment section of my last video that if this story has any new information, I'll make a video on it. The Sons of the Dragon is a short story by George Martin within the anthology book The Book of Swords. It's about Aegon the Conqueror's two sons, Aenys and Maegor the Cruel. Well, there was some new information, but only very small details that add very little to the overall story. I've already read The World of Ice and Fire, so this just felt like I was rereading it. If you're obsessed with the lore in A Song of Ice and Fire, I would check out the short story, but keep your expectations very low. I hope this video wasn't too messy and hard to follow, and I hope these family trees were satisfying for the people who have been requesting them. I appreciate everyone watching, liking, and subbing. It does mean a lot. See you guys soon.